Yes, it is true that in few more 14, we will be editing perspectives like premium point after effect. We won't be needing 11 labs anymore because we will be using AI voice cloning to do exactly the same thing. Mount camera editing and Apple's ProRes format support. And guess what? Better caption than CapCut. Hello my dear friends, Alex here from Alex Edits. In this video, you and me are going to be comparing and deciding some of the great features that we are going to have in Filmora 14. Alright, so here's the thing. I've been seeing comments from different Filmora users and honestly, some of these comments you really, really can ignore them. Really informative and to the point videos on Filmora. Can you please make a video on how we can make captions more attractive in Filmora? One setting I have seen in CapCut, caption templates. I really wish if Filmora could add captions like CapCut. Oh my. Please add motion tiles as designated effect. We all want it. I agree, all these comments are serious, but this is more serious. We need upgrades in color grading section for filmmakers. Gamer, lift gain and offset should be added in color grading wheel and advanced articulating features for skin protection in color grading section as well. These cheese features are not making the editing software better. Alright, so to me, this all seems like few more users only communicate their messages through the comment section, which is not bad, but let's use the opportunity that we have right now to decide how few more 14 is going to be. Alright, so now starting off with item edge. Oh, not item edge, but G. Well, my dear friends, so before the very end of this video, I'm going to give you access so that you can give your own opinion, your own decision as an individual few more user. But before that, we need to talk about this. I have to explain to you how these features work so that when you give a decision, you won't give a decision about something you know nothing about. Now Fumora says here, select three professional video editing features you think are the most important for Fumora to upgrade or add. Alright, so right here we have one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is the other. So when there is something that you think is necessary, you can write it here on other. Alright, so this is number one. Mount camera editing support. Alright, my dear friends, just keep in mind that I'm going to show you the proof that this is all about the Fumora 14, right? Just before the end of this video, okay? And of course, this makes it possible to edit using using a mount camera sequence with the clips from multiple camera sources. I think this is very important. It makes it easy when you are editing videos like interviews and other kind of videos that you use more than one camera on filming. And of course, we will bring tutorials in due course, but if you want to know something in advance, you can check out the tutorials from other softwares and have an idea. The next one is the VST audio plugin. This can be useful as well, because I think this is one of the areas that we are lacking the most. The audio tools. We need something to cover that gap. Alright, SVG image format support. SVG scalable vector graphics. And basically, this is just another type of format apart from the JPG and PNG. So unlike the PNG and JPG, SVG don't rely on pixels to make up the images you see. Instead, they use the vector data. So they are mainly used to design logos and websites because they can animate. Alright, so moving on to a fine transformation. This is good. This is actually for professionals, my dear friend. Alright, so let me just read the description right here. Allows for visual manipulation of video frames through stereoscopic perspective effects. Alright, so it's often used for rotating the video diagonal or fit the video to the wall or the screen. Just like this example right here, my dear friend, which I have shown you again on the introduction. Alright, my dear friends, let's move on to the last one before we decide which three are we choosing. Alright, so this is the Pro Resolution Format Support. Alright, let me tell you what this is. So, this is simply a codec created by Apple. And in short, a codec is a method of compressing and decompressing videos. So, ProRes is actually another codec, another method of compressing files that you can opt for when you are shooting out there. But at the same time, some cameras doesn't support it. Now, assuming that you have used the ProRes codec to compress your videos from your camera to become a file, that video format is unsupported in Filmora right now. So after having this feature, then Filmora will be supporting this. Now let's make our decisions on item H right here. But at the same time, just know that we still have other two packs of questions that we still have to decide on. And also, I know that you have other features in mind that you would like to write here. But just reserve that for the last option that I am going to show you. Now this is the first selection according to me. And right here, of course, mount camera. Definitely, I'm going to leave this out here and focus on these two. And actually, I think we need help in audio tools. Alright my fellow editors, so if you got a different perspective from mine, 
that's still fine. You can still make your own choice. But what was important right here is that I explained to you what are these features and at least you know what you're doing now. All right, now moving on to item D. Same thing, we have five options and we are selecting only three. All right, number one is AI sound effects generator. Oh, that simply means that AI is going to create specified sound effects through inputted text. Okay, 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 okay. It can be really useful. It can be really useful. Let's go on. AI voice cloning. All right. I've actually mentioned this in the introduction of this very video. So now this is what Eleven Labs is so good at. But what I don't know now with Fimora, are they going to be as accurate as Eleven Labs? And if the answer is yes, I will select this one right now. All right. Moving on to the next one is the AI text with uh. Is the AI text to video generator all right using AI to directly generate video oh, we have this already so this means if you select this one and the decision comes on to this one they're simply going to upgrade it and make some of the things right there better all right so here is AI digital human okay create AI driven visual characters all right all right or right. I, I remember this this can be useful of course in fact we got a lot of AI things that are going on right now all right so this is actually going to make us suit with the competition right now and this is going to open ways for us if you want to create the AI connected videos to have a free way for that all right AI text effect generator oh, oh this detects and automatically generates text effects that fit the style of the video mm -hmm. this can be really useful Mm, I think I can select this again on the next one is number two. Then that means I have one option left. I think I'm going to go right here with the AI digital human. All right, my dear friend, the next one is right here. AI voice beautification. AI improves the quality of an existing voice recording to make the studio level results. This can be really useful. AI watermark removal. Mm, I'm not a big fan of removing the watermarks, my dear friend. So I think I want to skip this. But I'm not saying there's something wrong with it. If you like it, then you can choose it as well. But I think explaining these features together is really important also for your decisions. All right, the next one right here is the AI image enhancement. Enhance video image quality through AI. AI video denoising. This is going to detect and remove the image noising in a clip. Okay. AI animated subtitles. All right, the long awaited feature. All right, my dear friends, I think this is very exciting to you also. All right, now you see why I've been saying better caption than CapCut. I think this is self explanatory. There's no need for me to explain anything more here. The next one is AI search. Okay, this is going to identify actions, plants, animals, and more with smart search. So you can quickly find clips you want. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Useful, but not very useful. All right, let's go to the next one. AI smart editing. AI imports, auto selects, and it trims clip into a new video on a timeline with the optimal setting. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, my dear friend. I think I, I, I may not understand everything about this, but I think this we need this. We need to give it a try. If there's anything that we could prefer first, don't be worried. We are going to write that on the other option right before the end of this video, just as I've said earlier. All right. So I think this is the first selection right here. I don't know really what to say, but it sounds good here. It sounds really perfect, but uh, uh, we, we, we really need to give it a try. Okay. We need to give it a try. All right. So I'm going to select it right here and then go on to of course the subtitles we need to beat cape card my dear friend don't forget that all right so now the next one right here is uh okay of course the the the, the ai beautification of the voice because right now what i'm doing right now especially this voice that you are listening right now i use the equalizer and what i do there is i select one of the presets which is the soft preset and then i tweak it around and if you think my voice sounds better, then just tell me in the comment section if you want that preset. I can create a preset that I use for myself. Then make sure that I share with you with some other means. Just, just let me know that you need it. If it sounds better the way you want. Okay? Let's move on. Oh, in fact, this is the last one, my dear friend. Oh, now I'm going to show you that proof that I've been talking about, which shows that this is all about Fumora 14. It's not about anything in Fumora 13. 
but it's all about Fimora 14. So if you look right here, this is actually a Fimora 14 survey. As you can see, the title of the survey is talking about. Now, as you can see right here, it states that this is for April. So this makes me think that they may be the next ones in the following months that we are going to have before we have Fimora 14. Maybe Fimora will be suggesting other features of the May survey of Fimora 14. So we still have to review all those and help each other to explain what are they before we even accept them. Okay? Alright my dear friends, so this is the last option for you to write what you think is necessary but was not included in the previous options. So I'm going to leave this one to you as an individual user of Fimora, but this is what I've write for myself. The pen to masking is so bad when you are trying to check the mask. So I'm actually telling them right here if they can upgrade it and make it better. And also my dear friends, if any of you have some tips and tricks of how to use this tracking mask, please write for me in the comment section. I will be really really happy to read that and get help from you guys. So the next one that I have right here is the concern of this guy right here, which also is my concern. Please add some advanced tools for color grading. And the third one right here, I'm actually requesting for the plugins like story blocks and inverter elements and others which are of the same manner. Oh, this is serious. Please feel more, bear in mind that we need to beat Premiere Pro in the near future. Now after all that my dear friend, we are also standing a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Alright, so of course that was not my concern. My concern was to give our decisions about the oncoming features of Fimora. But if you get the gift card, that's good for you. Alright my dear friend, thank you so much for watching this video to this very point. Actually, I just wanna let you know that the channel is just upgraded. All the future episodes are going to be fire my dear friend. So stay tuned, subscribe and yeah, that's it. Peace.